What up, guys? Kevin here. PC Master Race. Let me in. 2024. It's going down as a year of PC Master Race for Kevin. Now, I know I make a lot of proclamations and I do stuff and the next day I go, psych. Nope. I mean, just last week, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to play PlayStation in 2024. Enough with this PC crap. Um, however, that changed. That changed over the weekend and... I realize if I go that route, I'm not going to be able to play some of the games I've been wanting to play. And 2023 is going down as a year that I really got into PC gaming. I think a third to half of my gaming time was on PC, thank you to the older Trails games. Um, But yeah, I just want to explain why I'm ditching consoles and going all PC in 2024 besides... Uh, what game's coming? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's only coming to PS5. I'm playing that day one on PS5. I have to. <laughs> I'm taking the day off to play it. Um, but then that game will come to PC, and I will buy it there, and I will play it there too. Um, but yeah, how did this happen? Because I am somebody who's made one, two, three, twelve videos bashing PC gaming. <laughs> what changed? Well, again, this year I was forced to play on PC. Do the Trails in the Sky only being on PC, unless I want to play the really shitty uh, Vita version. Um, but yeah, like after I beat it there, I'm like, I kind of really enjoyed playing that game on PC. And then I played Trails into Reverie on PC, and that game looked and ran so much better than the console version or the PS5 version. Had an FOV slider. And... Um, Something happened over the weekend. I beat Like a Dragon Gaiden on PS5. And when you do that, you get access to infinite wealth. Yakuza Like a Dragon 8 infinite wealth. And it takes place in Hawaii. And my God, is it beautiful. It is so beautiful. And it hit me like, no, I need to play this game looking the best it can. And it's only going to look the best it can on PC and the PS5 version looked a little dog shit. I mean, it looked great, the Hawaii and the setting and the locale and everything, but it was a little too much like jaggies and just uh, just a lot of PS5 downgradedness that I was like, nah, man, I, I am not doing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth this way. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm playing it on PC. And I'm like, that's going to be the case for about every other game that comes out in 2024. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I- I'm doing it. I'm going all in. None of this back and forth. One day I'm PC, another I'm PS5. Like, Monochrome Mobius, I should have that game beat. But I got 35 hours on PS5, and I got another 20 on PC. <laughs> if I combine those hours, the game would be finished. And it would be included on my Games of the Year of 2023. Check out that video. Just did it yesterday. Um, Fun times. But yeah, there's also other games I want to play. I still need to beat Trails in the Sky 2nd and 3rd. Ease 7 and Ease Ark of Nepishtim. And because of Monochrome Mobius being awesome, I want to play the Udawade Dormono games. And there's two that are kind of stranded on PC. You can buy the physical versions for Vita and... PlayStation, playing there if you got a physical disc PlayStation. I don't, but I can play them on PC. They were on sale. I just bought all three, Prelude to Fallen, Mask of Deception, Mask of Truth, for like 50 bucks. So that's like, so it's like six games I got that are stranded on PC that are going to eat up my 2024. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going all in on PC. I uh, went with the AMD build. Now, Best Buy, I got their membership, so it's like every 60 days I can return. I got like a 60-day return policy. That's what I've been doing all year. Um, I think I'm settled on my build to 5600X with the 7800 XT. 7800 XT is beautiful. Like the 4070, I found myself quite a bit dropping it down to 1440p, whereas the 7800 uh, XT been able to stay at 4k 60 ultra settings beautiful gpu i may trade it for the 4070 super when that gets announced next month and what that looks like 
Um, but it's a very beautiful build. The 5600X, I will not accept any slander. I'm starting to see videos, people saying it's long in the tooth. I'm like, yeah, it came out a few years ago, but <laughs> it's if you're like me and just game, and you're gaming at like 4K or 1440p, um, you can go watch videos between the 5600X and the 7800X3D. And is there a difference? Yes. Is it worth a full upgrade to DDR5, more expensive RAM, more expensive motherboard, nearly, what, $200 plus uh, CPU? Hell no. Hell no. Though, that will probably be the route I go, maybe in a year or two. Um, once I, once I want to upgrade to DDR5. But right now, I mean, I just let the 7800 XT do all the work because it does a beautiful job. Looks beautiful on my OLED. And the PS5, even when they launched the PS5 Pro, sure, the games will look a little bit better, but whatever GPU, like my, it's not even going to touch my 7800 XT. I don't think it's even going to touch a 6700 XT, the PS5 Pro. But there you have it. Just a proclamation. I'm going full PC Master Race in 2024. I'm excited for it. Um... <laughs> gonna try to be a little bit more balanced this year i did a great job of balancing out my life a little bit went out hung out a little bit more uh with friends and um hung out with amnesia girl went back to the gym that was like my biggest thing i'm like i needed to get back to the gym and i did it and it ate up a lot of my gaming time but it's well worth it and i think 2024 i'm gonna add another day and i'm gonna start cooking because holy crap I just got like a Big Mac meal and it was like 12 bucks. Um, I can't be doing that anymore. Doesn't matter. I'm getting like another race soon, but I don't care. 12 bucks for a burger meal. No, <laughs> not doing it. I'm done. I, well, I say that I'm still probably going to eat fast food mainly, but it's little steps. It's little baby steps. You know, this year I got into PC gaming a little bit more in 2024. I'm going all in this year, 2024. I'm going to start cooking a little bit. Here and there in 2025, I just might find me making every meal. That's how it works. Just little baby steps, guys. Baby steps. You know, you're not going to go from PS5 to PC gaming overnight. You're just not. You're going to miss the ease of use and where all your friends are at and the UI and everything on PS5. But you get a PC and you start playing a game here and game there. And next thing you know, you're, you're with the master race. All right, uh, I'm probably going to get downvoted for saying that word too many times, but I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.